All right, so after going on YouTube, not being able to find a video of somebody actually showing you how they did a snorkel on a Sportsman 570 is a 2015, um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and make a video, uh, maybe help somebody who wants to snorkel theirs for less than $300 because that's most of the kits you see are anywhere from 220 to 300 bucks. So all in all, I have about 100 bucks into this, and that's with me ordering the adapter plate from Snorkel Your ATV. It's about $27 online. Uh, all I did was go to Home Depot, got some Schedule 40 PVC. Those are two-inch pipes. As you can see, it's just a 90 elbow at the top. Down the bottom, I glued it into a threaded two-inch piece that actually threads into these conduit hubs. Um, everything can pretty much be bought at Home Depot. Um, the flex tube is pool suction hose, which they sell at Home Depot also. It's about 30 bucks for 35 feet. Um, as you can see, they're loose, so they just slide up into the snorkels, so you can still open and close the front box. I don't use my front box anyways, but as you can see, you can still open and close it. Tubes just go back up in there. I have that one pulled out. I use it as kind of a prop rod right there. Um, I just drill through the fender right there. Pops up underneath. So on this one right here for the CVT box, I used a 3-inch to a 2-inch rubber adapter. That actual white fitting you see in there actually is what comes on the pool hose, but it's not sealed on the back, so I silicone the hell out of it. Um, this back one is a also a 3 inch to 2 inch adapter. Uh, this is a 2 inch to a 1 and a half inch adapter with a tiny little short piece of uh, 1 and a half inch pipe uh, that goes into a 1 and a half inch elbow. And as you can see, I just the hose pushes right into there. I silicone that also to seal it up. Um, I have my CVT cover off because from factory the Polarises aren't very good about sealing the back of these and that's where I was getting a lot of my water in too. So I'm about to RTV the backs of these around these seals. So when I put my cover back on it's nice and watertight. Um, like I said everything tucks up real nice, you put the cover back on, no problems. Uh, with mine I made this fitting a little too high so when it's installed it bumps up into there, so I just cut my fender a little bit. Um, I know some people don't like to cut their bikes, but, well, if you're putting a snorkel on, you probably don't care so much. On this side, you see it goes up into there, comes out the fender, and I ran it in front of the frame. That way it's not up against the exhaust pipe. See, it's nice and far away. I've run the bike uh, since I put it on. Uh, it was pretty watertight, but I, like I said, I was getting water from behind the cover. So pulled the cover to go ahead and RTV the back of it. And like I said, it's pretty easy. You know, I have about less than 100, it's right at 100 bucks into this versus the expensive kits online. So if you have a little time on your hands, you want to save some money, that's a way to do it. Everything's zip tied, all nice and tight. When you put the seat on, it doesn't affect the ride at all. Uh, I know some of the kits people have put, they, uh, the seat sits up higher, it's not like that. Like I said, everything went back on just perfectly fine, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it.